Over 2,000 people subscribed to this channel over the past month because of that one mushroom video. I'm now monetized because of that one mushroom video. I just thought I'd mention that. Thanks, folks. Lavender Town put out a video called Testing Every Animatic Program, where she went over Clip Studio Paint, which is, I think, both her and my favorite drawing software. Um, one of the downsides she mentioned was that CSP doesn't have a duplicate cell function, which is true, but you can work around it using auto action. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on that and it's sort of like an introduction to auto actions because boy, when I got introduced to them, it really helped my workflow out. So the first thing is to go down to here. This is how you get to your auto action window. And what you're going to do is add a new auto action to current auto action folder. And I'll just call this one example. Boom. Um, now you start to record so that everything you do from here on out is going to be part of the sequence that you're creating. So you've got this selected. You copy then go to the frame that you want. Let's say you want this to change at frame 15. Then you hit new animation cell. And when you create a new animation cell, it does two things. It creates a layer, which is sequentially named. Since you were at one, it creates layer two. That's your frame. And it specifies the cell. You can see the little button here, specify cell. It specifies the cell. So cell 15 is now associated with frame or layer 2. This is important here because these two things are separate. So if you delete layer 2, you keep the specification of cell 15 to layer 2. The reason that's important is that if you then paste what you previously copied, which was layer 1, you get a layer 2 that contains layer 1's drawing and is automatically inserted into that specification. So if we hit stop here, that means that, let's make a little change to this, He's beginning to realize something here. That means now every time you hit the play button here, you will duplicate the cell that you were on, or you'll duplicate the frame you were on to the cell that you have selected. So, that's cool, I think, but what if you don't want to keep going back to your auto action tab, selecting your chosen auto action and hitting play, or just, you know, going up and hitting play all the time? What if you want your layer properties open or whatever? Well, you can do a couple of things. First of all, you can right click your command bar, hit command bar settings. From main menu, go down to auto action, select your auto action folder if you've got one, grab example, and then just drag and drop it onto there. And now create a new one. I'm gonna move this hand out like that. Okay, 
Or alternatively, if you're like a keyboard shortcut kind of person like I am, you can also file shortcut settings. Um, I already went over here, but if it's at main menu, you just go to auto action, select the folder again, go to example, click edit shortcut, and I'm just going to do shift alt V. Duplicate cell is the same thing. I just left it intact here. So now if I ever press shift alt V, thank you, Beeb. I'll duplicate again. So there you have it. Um, you can use auto actions to sort of create your own buttons and shortcuts that'll take a series of actions that will sort of be a stand-in for what's missing. That is, arm is way too big. But let's lean into it. So yeah, um, just uh, keep that in mind. And you can also use that, all of those processes, to do pretty much any auto action, anything that you can do sequentially. I have one here to turn layers into uh, cleanup layers, one here to create uh, the type of animation folder that I like, one to create cameras. Um, this is just the insert frame and delete frame button. Anyway, that's how I do it. It saves me a lot of time. Hopefully it's helpful to some of you.